Well, good morning. You join me on the canal today and I've dragged out Millie and she is our social media coordinator. She's normally behind a laptop, but she's never done lure, done lure fishing before. So I've dragged her out and we're going to catch some perch today. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we're down the canal, like I just said. Um, we've got a couple of rods made up, a little jigging rod and a drop shot rod. And Millie is starting off on the drop shot and um, just getting a feel for it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you've done fishing with Matrix and you've done fishing with, with this fox carp. So you haven't been out with us yet. No, never. So you, you've never lured fish before. So perfect. We're going to get you your first lure caught fish today. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah. Yeah, she's just playing around with the drop shot, getting a feel for it. It's not very deep, this canal. There's some good perch in here, though. So, anything we'll do today, but you never know if we get not a good a one. Pike. Not a pike. You no. don't like pike, do you? No. Too many never teeth. met a pike yet. Too many teeth. Far too many teeth. No, I don't, I don't want the... Uh, Delicate creatures, pike. The wounds. Yeah. I don't want the wounds. You'll be all right. Ben will take all the wounds. Then. Yeah, I'll take all the wounds. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, but at the minute, we're just trying to find some fish and uh, hopefully we'll find a little shoal of perch and um, yeah, we'll get on them. Oh, All right. That's nice a bit. rare breed. It is a rare breed, give it a shake. Do you want to get it? Thanks. Give it a shake, it'll come off. So we've had a few casts here um, with no bites and as it is on these canals, they're quite long, a lot of it's the same. We need to keep moving. Um, Try all the structure, if there is any bridges, things like that, um, anything that's slightly different, because like I said, they're dead straight, not a lot of variation in them. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a walk around, see what we can do. Cue music. <laughs> Right then, Millie, we've got first fish in the net. Yeah. Um, this might be an area we can catch a few more of, but first of all, let's unhook him and uh, have a little look. There he is. Look at that. Wow. Really lovely fish, that one. I love his mohawk. Doesn't mm. he look so cool? Lovely, aren't they? Nice orange fins. There's that lure, look. He's really ate that, hasn't he? Yeah, he loves that. Just in the corner there, nice and out, no damage done. And yeah. Lovely fish, you know, you've got a little hold. Yeah. I'll lay him there for it's you. He's not gonna spike me though. No, is no, he won't spike you, no. You sure? If you put your hands over the gill, there's a spike, wow. a bit sharp around here, there's one there. If you just hold him down the finger oh, either side, you'll be fine. <laughs> right, okay, hold on. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move fish. I'm That's big. it. Oh right, okay. That's it. He's spiking. And then, and then pinch him, me. pinch him there. Right there? Yeah, yeah. He is spiky. There you go. Ah, cool. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, Got cool. nice stripes on them. Gorgeous. I want to catch one now. You need to catch one. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's get this one back. Thank you. Ready? Yep. Is that okay? Well done. Perfect. <laughs> Nicely done. Well done, Millie. Nice. <laughs> Not my fish. Slime. All right, joint effort. Joint effort. So that fish came to a spiky shad. Cool. So you've probably seen these loads in posts and stuff like that, but never actually used one. So spiky shad for the name, because it's got these little spikes on it. Yeah. Give loads of vibration, nice paddle tail on it, nice natural color, and that's what it had. So cool. you have a cast with that. Yep. We'll see if we can get another one. or well, you can catch one this time. I feel like I'm starting to understand where the bottom is a bit more now. Yeah, you will do. With a bit of time, you'll just get a feel for like... And then in your head, what you'll do is you'll picture like, as it comes up shallow towards you. Yeah. 
you'll picture that sort of in your head at that bottom, you know, with the yeah. bowl in the middle. start getting bites in those areas, you then start to say, right, well, okay, they're right on that ledge where it goes from shallow to deep, that's where they're sitting. And you can then start farming those areas with a drop shot, that's where it comes in into its own. So you can sit there. So with carp fishing, you obviously target just one area. With this, would you target the area once twice and then you know you're Yeah, so you're not more mobile. Okay. Um, another one you can do is just hold the tip down low, wide, and just let it fall, then wind and let it fall. That works well as well with shirts. Do what? So you can cast it out, like yeah. you were. Keep the rod tip like, right near the water like that. Yeah. And just gently wind and then stop. You see how the braid goes tight, 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 and then drops. That's another, another way you can do it. I'm going to have a go at that. Okay, one second. So wind that up. Pop it wide and then just let it fall down. Okay. It's a bit tight, so That's know. fine, yeah, a little wind. You'll see the braking. Stay tight until it hits the bottom. So I've got one full wind. Yeah. One full wind, go all the way around. And then let it fall down. And there you go, it's on the bottom. One full wind. That's on the bottom. You can do that quite quickly, that wind. Yeah. It jerks it off the bottom. And on different days, I've had it different ways. Sometimes I want it literally dragged along the bottom and super slow. Some days I want it on quite a fast retrieve. What will you do when you caught yours? Stop start, so quickly jerking off the bottom and then letting it, let it sink and then pause it and do it off the bottom and let it sink forward. So what you'll often find is the snaggiest bits of water, so the more roots and trees and rubbish in them, that's where, that's where the pipe is, they're the where they are, they like the cover. So, we're not going for pipe. Well, perch and pipe do, but yeah, perch <laughs> today. So yeah, if you can find cover, if you can find snags, branches, rocks, boulders, anything like that, yeah. then you're going to put it. It's definitely yeah. a snag. Yeah, so that's perfect. Obviously, we had a bite, we saw it at the roach top. Um, there's perch in this area, so it's just a case of now, going through the motions, going through a different, different coloured walls, working out what they want, see so if we can't put a few on the, on the ground. Double hookup, look. Yay! That was almost like a little thingy spell. Look at that, look. Oh, I'm so proud. Well done. Oh, look at the next feet there. <laughs> two little perch. <laughs> two two perch in a pod. Next to each other. <laughs> well, well done, guys. Right, let, me get mine, uh, let me get my little one on book first. Well done, Billy. I can't do that. So that was on a little bright. Program? Wow. A microprogram? A baby one? Oh. Slip him back. Right, swing him into Ben. And, uh, ben, can you get him? Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased. Look at that. There's a pretty one as well. Do you want to get on the light, mate? Are you want right, yeah. Pretty one as well. Can I hold him? Yeah, of course you can. Hold him with a hook in, then if he falls, he won't got... Okay, can you hold the rod? Yeah, there you go. And how do I stop getting spiked? You, you're right, just put your, hand <gasps> ra put your hand around him with that one. He's a little one. No, 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 oh. please don't do that. Please stay still. Thank you. No. He's free. And it's gone. <laughs> He's free. You, you got to hold him, Millie. That's <laughs> right. Let's have another little go. <laughs> There's obviously a few fish here, then. Well done. That's crazy. Look at that. Look, we sat here for what? We stood here for ten minutes without a bite, and then we both twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, maybe. 20 minutes. And then we both had a fish at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. So we'll keep going. Well, I'm just down. Where was yours, Millie? Uh, I went back near that wall where I yeah. got it stuck in the brush. That's exactly what first fishing could be like. It's nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden, little feeding spell, and um, yeah. I wasn't sure because I thought that I just got a twig again, but then when it kept fighting back, I thought, <laughs> okay, yeah, there's something in here. 
Not that I could communicate that to you with the oh, noise. <laughs> I think I was doing what you did, you know, but I haven't done it on the side, so what I was doing is mm. I pulled it to the side and was doing yeah. that. Oh, good. Does it matter that I'm not close to the wall or...? No, 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 it's fine. It's just a little bit of a style. Um, That's what I was doing when I did yeah, it. it's perfect. I kind of like this method a little bit. I'll keep doing that then. Whatever you're happy with. Uh, it might have been that some, the perch had pushed up this end of the wall and we both... Time to move. At least the sun's come out. Do you think that I'm back fishing? Yeah, yeah, it's time to move. And like you said, the sun is out, which may, might just push the fish under bridges now, which isn't ideal for fishing, but it actually might make it easier because we can find them under the bridges. Um, a lot of the time when it's overcast and dull, they can be anywhere, but when it's sunny like this, it makes it a tiny bit easier because they do head under the bridges in the shade. So we'll walk up, we'll find a couple more bridges, and um, there's a lot of boats moving here now as well. So we'll try and find a quieter bit of canal and uh, see if we can find some more perch. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Scorpion lure, as you called it. <laughs> it just looked like a scorpion. Oh, that's right. One. One. This is still spiky. This is spiky. It's still. It's unbelievable, isn't it? That all folds up in his mouth. <laughs> he gets it ill, yeah. yeah. Quite a big lure, really. Yeah. Clearly, he wanted something. He's proud, isn't he? Yeah, I like his mohawk. Oh, well, he's got a little middle mohawk there. Isn't he? Yeah, Just he's got distinguished. Little, yeah, he's got two, isn't he? <laughs> Lovely. Distinguished. Distinguished gentleman. <laughs> he's a, that is a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> Lovely. And just twist it round down that no, way. No, I don't want to. I don't want to hurt him. I mean, I'm hooking them. Oh my god, Ben. <laughs> Crazy person. Right, now can I have him back? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no. Put him in the net. There you go. Right. Now stay still. <laughs> stay. My second perch of the day on my lure fishing adventure. Look at his mohawk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to lay him down. Oh, what a brilliant dude. Well done. Was that okay? Yeah, yeah. Just, just wipe it all over Ben's jacket. That's all right, I'll wipe it on the back. Oh, nice. <laughs> Take it out on the back. <laughs> yeah, it's not my bag. There you go. Brilliant, well done. Didn't even know it was on though. It wasn't a very good fight. Did you say that? It wasn't a very good fight. Oh, no, I never knew it was on. <laughs> <laughs> You're not meant to say things like that. Well, that happens to us all. We don't it was an epic fight. Be, you have to be truthful and honest. Can you get that off for me? Thank you. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Well, well done. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Nice one, Millie. Really. Team effort. Look. Team effort, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you hold it's the net, you hold one. the net for me. Okay. Oh, cheers, mate. You hold the net for me and I'll... Are you catching bigger ones because you've got a bigger scorpion? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Look at him, he's angry. Look at that. Wow. Lovely, just unhook him gently. There we go. That white pearl critter doing the job. Got a three gram jig head. Nice. Yeah. Pretty, aren't they? They are nice. I like the stripes on them. Mm. Is it still spiky? Yeah, yeah. Lovely fish. <laughs> is it? Is it? Uh, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to her again. Can, can you call them lovely? <laughs> they are lovely. Absolutely stunning fish. So handsome. Look at them. Look at him. With his mohawk and his stripes. He his, is cool. Look at the colours on him. Because of the Look mohawk. at the blue. But lovely pearls. isn't how I describe a fish. Mm. Koi carp. They're nice. Let's <laughs> get back. Millie's last session. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah, mate, here you go. Can we swap that one to Yeah, one? yeah. Have a, have a go with this. Is it the same thing I'm doing now? Yeah, exactly the same. You've just got a bigger... Just swing it out, letting it drop down. Okay. It's just a slightly bigger lure, so it will attract slightly bigger fish. But Not a pike. Might do. It's a good pike lure. What, really, though? Mm -hmm. We can put one on this as well, the jig heads are the same size, I think. There we go. Just a nice perch, yeah? Yeah, decent perch. Slightly better anyway. Nice. I've watched that pike come out now. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take him. Wow. There we go. Nice little canal perch, that one. Oh, did you? There we go. One of our little mini crawls, smaller size on a really light jig head, on a really light jig head. It's only three gram that jig head, but they've got a lovely slow fall on them, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you carry on filming. <laughs> the camera. Oh, I don't know, I'm just filming Sam escaping my uh, snag again. Well and truly buried there. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Are we out? We're out. We're out. We're out. Sorry about that. New camera girl. <laughs> Uh, Fancy a little break? Yeah, we're going to go back, get coffee, and then go back to it. Yeah, catch some more. <laughs> and we'll go through some gear, maybe run through some gear and tackle what we've been using today. And, yeah. and maybe learn the words, or well, learn the names of the products instead of just scoffing them Yeah, might be worth it. Well, we want for the future though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rage Scorpion. Take note, Scorpion Law, the new one. <laughs> cool. Right, let's go. Let's go get coffee. Right, so we've had some food, we've had a nice healthy snack at the uh, Golden M <laughs> and a coffee to wake ourselves up a little bit. Um, we've come to a different bit of canal now, so we're going to have another go. We've got, probably got, I don't know, maybe two hours before it gets dark, so a good time to fish. Yeah. And you're enjoying it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's good. So, if I was going to step up on my own, yeah. what would I need? You wouldn't need a lot. Like the outfits we've been using today, we've got a Prism X outfit yeah. and a Warrior outfit. The Warrior outfit is our, I don't want to say bottom of the range, but it's our budget friendly option, okay. which we've been using to be fair, and it's it's a great little rod. Yeah, I've really um, enjoyed it actually. Yeah. I think for a starter, for me starting out, I'd probably go for a Warrior yeah. rod. Yeah. Um, 
match and reel, which are very, again great value for money. Yeah. Um, they're nice and light, as you said today. It's light, isn't it? Yeah. Like you're not going to get tired holding that all day. I was really surprised when I picked it up. To be mm. fair, it's it's really light in the hand. That's because you used some heavy carp rods <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, nice delicate rods. Yeah. Um, nice soft action, which means when you catch some small perch, it's still quite good fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is important. And then other than that, you need. We've got ten pound braid on there. Okay. Now this morning you said to me, why is it braid? Yeah. And we said that's exactly for that reason. We've got no stretch in that. So as you found today, you've been able to feel that weight down, you know when it's hitting the bottom, you feel the little bites, um, that's the reason we got the braid on there. Um, so nice fine braid, um, and then really it's a bit of terminal tackle. Um, so some lures, we, we sell obviously lures in blister packs, all, and you were, you were like jigging, trying to hook stuff up this morning, weren't you? Yeah. We, we sell them already rigged up, so you just literally get them out of the pack, attach them on, and okay. away you go. So it wouldn't need to, so would that already be attached here? Yeah, so you'd have, your, you'd have your jig head and your lure all attached and all ready to go. Oh, okay. We so sell them in little blister packs, so they're absolutely perfect. You can obviously buy them all separately and then you can tailor everything and dedicate it to what you're doing. Um, so that's your terminal tackle. Um, a rucksack, a net and a hooking mat is important like we use today. Street yeah, just a bag. little street fighter bag like that. Um, you can even go smaller than that if you want to. You don't need a lot of lures, but one of those little boxes like you've got in there. You can get quite a lot of lures in there, especially for the canals that we're fishing today. Yeah, little tiny boxes, you can get loads of lures in there, enough for easily enough for a day's, day's fishing. Could have um, plenty of scorpion lures. You could have some scorpion <laughs> slash um, critter lures in there, yeah, definitely. And spiky, spiky shads. Well done, yeah, you get in there. <laughs> slick finesse. Well done. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Sparkly slick finesse. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop while I was on my head. Yeah. But yeah. Like I said, a tiny little box, loads of lures, some jig heads, um, some fluorocarbon, really that's all you need. And that'd be sorted. Um, yeah, a net uh, and a hooking mat just for, for the fish safety really. And as long as you're comfortable and you've got warm shoes on, you know what I mean? You can just yeah. walk, as we've done today, you can walk for miles. Yeah. And you said you said yourself, that's the, one of the reasons you liked it so much. Yeah, I did. To be fair, I really enjoyed the fact that if you're not getting anywhere, you mm. just get up and go. And yeah. you haven't got to carry a load no. of stuff. You just pick your rod up, pick your net up, and you're gone. That's it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, to be honest. It's better than sitting on a seat box and... Yeah, I really don't want to admit <laughs> that, but I actually have really enjoyed it more than Matt's fishing. <laughs> but no, it's... Um, like you said, you can go out for an hour. You can go out all day, you know, leave it in the car if you go on holiday, you know, yeah, and you, you find some somewhere. Water yeah, and you that's can the just great thing about out, it. Have a couple of, like within 20 minutes when we moved, mm. we got some bites, in. didn't we? Yeah. Um, and every time that we left it a little bit, and then we went, okay, yeah. we'll move along. Um, but I love changing the lures, I really like the. Yeah. The fact that you can just change it. Yeah, up. and it makes a big difference, you know. We went from quite natural colours in the clear water. So when it got a bit mucky, didn't it? That water, yeah, we, we got put the, the brighter, white, yeah, white the brighter on. whites and stuff on, and we got bites on it, didn't we? So it made yeah. a big difference. And I can imagine, like you know, like I said, you'd go into a tackle shop and go, "Oh, I'll have some of those. Have some of those. Yeah. They look pretty. I'll have some of those." I'm looking forward to that yeah. now. I'm going, "Oh, I like that yeah. colour. I like that colour. Oh, that one. That one looks like it, a lobster. Yeah. I'm going to have that one." But, um, I do like the lobster ones, but my favourite one. It, it looks like a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are crayfish imitations, but I know okay. what you mean. They Cray, could, crayfish. They could yeah, they could they okay. could imitate anything like that. Any to type of creatures. Fair. Yeah. Prawns. Yeah, like a prawn. A Prawns bit. around. Yeah, once they've been peeled and cooked. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, like you said, loads of different options. Keep you busy, keep you thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, good. I'm Let's going get to back get out myself out. a uh, warrior yeah. rod now. Yeah. And real. Yeah. Nice. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Right, so it's come to the end of our little session. Um, it's been great fun, hasn't it? Yeah, I've um, really enjoyed it. We've caught a few perch. Not many, but we've caught a few perch. It's been great fun. I think you've learned the basics really quickly, actually. I was quite impressed. So, um, but you've enjoyed it, haven't you? Yeah, my yeah. casting's got better. Yeah. It's great practice. I've really enjoyed walking. Um, I have 
enjoyed it more than match fishing. I hate to admit. I know, I know. Oh dear. I know. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. First perch on a uh, lure, my first time ever lure fishing. So that was your first fish ever on lures as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've so never, never ever fished, done yeah. lure fishing before. So that's brilliant. So we've got a question for you at home. Um, we'd like to know what your first fish was that sparked the love for fishing. You know, when you went out as a kid, maybe, whatever it was, your first fish that you caught um, that sparked your love for fishing. Drop it down in the comments below. We'd love to know.